collector's lines by showcasing unprecedented play value. So all these characters here make up our two-figure blind packs. Um, so again, talking about that pop and swap feature, we can actually remove the alligator's outfit and maybe exchange it with another outfit. The same goes for the, um, the headpiece. And all of our characters fall into three different sections. So we have our common characters, our rare characters, and our ultra rare characters. So our common characters is like, here's a great example of these two girls here, they're wearing their everyday outfits. Our rare characters would be, for example, this guy in his um, hot dog outfit. Um, so they wear fun costumes. And our ultra rare um, characters have unique deco, like for example, the sparkle in her hair there. Um, we know that everyone will be clamoring for some of our ultra rare characters like maybe the zombie, or we've got a unicorn over here as well. But what's great about this line is that through the rest of the line, um, a mystery character is included in every single assortment or play set. So everyone has the opportunity to find that ultra rare character at any uh, price point. And then over here we have our three figure pet and pet accessory assortment. So we're giving girls their favorite My Mini Mixie cues with their favorite pets like a puppy or a kitty also delivering some storytelling play like for example we've got the full story here we've got the veterinarian the bunny lover as well as the pet bunny right there so they come with two figures as well as a mystery figure like i was saying before everything comes with a mystery figure the pet and of course the two pet um, piece count and then coming to the other end over here we have our multi-figure fashion packs so within each uh, pack, there's up to 400 combinations with the interchangeable headpieces and the outfits. And when girls are all done designing their favorite characters, they can actually use the carrying cube there in the center to uh, clip onto a necklace or a backpack and share it with all their friends and uh, for that on-the-go play. So in addition to our characters and our character buildups, we have some great display and play sets. Uh, to add value to the line. So first up, we've got our mini rooms here. These are some normal environments you find, might find our mixie cues in, like a bakery or a salon. They each also come with those two figures and the mystery figure, and tons of great piece count. But what's cool about these mini rooms is that if the girls have two of them, they can actually combine them together to create a, a cube, and all the piece count can fit inside. Or they can stack two or more to create that urban, sprawling sky rise. Then we have our basic play sets here. So at first it starts out like a cube just like this. And when you unfold it and open it up, it reveals a cubified play environment. So just like this park right here. Um, they have some great piece count as well um, as the two figures and the mystery character. But they can actually be brought to life with three different movable features within each play set. So for example, in the park we have the little boat that goes around, the swing set moves, as well as a merry-go-round. Um, girls can actually get together, lay their play sets all out, and merge them together to build out a full My Mini Mixie Cues world. And when they're all done playing, they can fold it right back up into a cube again for great portability with all the piece count hiding inside. And lastly, we've got our 